Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Wednesday, August 24th, 3.31 p.m. New York time. The currency markets. Currency markets, you could trade them in the Forex exchange. You could trade them in the futures exchange as well as the stock exchange. Yep, the symbols are different and the rules and regulations are different on those exchanges. Plus, not all brokers act, act, give you access to all those exchanges, but you can certainly participate in trading currencies as well the currencies you could trade in either direction, bullish or bearish. And there's also stock ETFs that trade inverse. So on the left here, it's a watch list I created for myself and it's got the currencies in there. So some are red, some are green, such is life. We're looking here on the US dollar index and we're looking at the monthly chart. So each candle is a month and we're looking over a 10 year time frame. US dollar has several currencies inside it that represent the index. Real quick, the three largest currencies in the US dollar, first is the Euro, second is the yen, third is the pound. Yep, yeah, the fourth of course is the neighbors to the north, Canada dollar. So huge trend up this year. Yep, outstanding, start it. Last year, the first of the month, January, when the executive branch of the United States changed leadership. The US dollar since then has been higher, <clears throat> record highs, way above the highs than the prior administration and the prior administration. Strong dollar, great for buying power stuff from other countries. To import stuff, that's good, as well as traveling abroad, buying additional real estate, Great, it's a benefit, benefit to US companies that have corporate headquarters in the United States. So are a lot of people benefiting from strong dollar. Again, the mainstream media may only tell you the worst of it. Okay. So green, we haven't taken out the high yet of last month. We're also up here in this key supply area. We'll see at the end of the month what happens. Don't forget, this is the last full trading day of the week. And next week, again, is the end of the month. Interesting. So it's a consolidation too. <clears throat> Let's go look at some other financial instruments in the currencies market. Look at the major currencies in the US dollar. We'll use the futures exchange symbols. The futures exchange symbols where the currencies all start with a forward slash followed by a six. The letter represents the currency. So this is the Euro, forward slash 6E. Look at that. All-time high was there. Yep. That was 2008. And now we're at record lows. <clears throat> we're below a buck. So that means one American dollar, you could buy a Euro and you'll get change left over. It's not one for one. The U.S. dollar is stronger than the Euro. That's a beautiful thing. Some of us never thought we would see that for a long time. <clears throat> yep, new low. Again, it's not necessarily good for some people, but some people it's beneficial for. Japanese yen, forward slash 6J. 
Look at that roof. Well, if you look here, yep, there was the high. <clears throat> and this year, we made new record lows. The current month is interesting. We didn't take out the low last month, but this month did test the midpoint there and rejected it. So all probability, one would expect this to continue going lower. British pound, silver, sterling. What other names they call it? Yep, there was the high. <clears throat> and from this range, there's a lot of whipsaw. Those past years. Now, for the year, we're at record lows. But again, it's got that low from <clears throat> nearly three years ago. It hasn't taken out yet. This will be back in 2020. Yep, again, it's trending down. Canadian dollar, there's the high. There's the low. Yep. So while this being the low a few years ago, when there was a lot of talk between the United States political party and the Canadian political party regarding trade. Yep. Trade. So since then, Canadian dollar has been slowly grinding down. That was the low of last year. We already took out the low last year, but we're trading back in that range. But again, slow grind down. I would think any retracement to the upside is still going to have a continuation on the downside. There's a consolidation or potential target on the downside. Swiss franc, one of the safe haven currencies. I'll say it again, safe haven currencies. U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, and Swiss franc are considered safe haven currencies. Not necessarily all being buy at the same time. Some people only want to be in metals, gold or silver. Some people want to be in currencies. Look at this. Huge run-up those years. Massive consolidation. Tighter trading range. So now, the higher the year was there, the lower the year is there. That's the midpoint of this huge impulse move down. So that gray horizontal line midpoint rejected it. Yeah, not surprised because often these big candles, big bodies get retraced. And it proved it's a failure. Yep. <clears throat> Australian dollar. There's the high. There's the low. Again, these lows, a lot of them are during that panic for the virus. But currently for this year, still struggling. Still struggling. A lot of volatility. Definitely rejected that 75 and close to that 70. So massive consolidation still looks like it wants to go lower low. There's a lot that affects currencies. When currencies raise their interest rates, they typically strengthen their economy. As well, their deficit, the trustworthy of their bonds, the diversity of their nation. Yeah, so US dollar has a lot of advantages why it's a safe haven currency. Let's go look at the Forex market because the Forex market is different exchange and the Forex market is strictly currencies. We'll first look at the Euro peers. We already did the euro US dollar. Let's go here, look at the euro yen <clears throat> again, Europe, Asia, European Union, Japanese yen, Japanese yen being safe haven currency. So for the year, and we're looking here at weekly charts, these candles a week. First week of the year, low of the year, high of the year, in a consolidation phase. Had this pin bar here, reject that swing low. So if this goes higher, this is beneficial for the Euro. Well, the probability is <laughs> this may just continue consolidation a little bit longer and then have that breakdown and go down, we test again. Yeah, we'll find out. If this closes inside candle by the end of the month, well, that'd be interesting because a breakout one way or the other could start a new trend. See here? Inside candle, the yellow one broke out to the new trend. Now we're looking at the Euro British pound. <clears throat> this is trending up. That's in favor of the Euro against the pound. Look at this trend line. Most of the time it's been touching it has been closing above it. So slow grind up, but now it's rejecting key level 0.85. Yeah. <clears throat> Huge impulse move down. Sellers already came right here. Fake out has a chance that it may, again, roll over, recede between the pound and the euro. 
euro and the Canadian dollar. Wow. <clears throat> Look at this. Trending lower in favor of the Canadian dollar. So again, the euro is weaker and the Canadian dollar is gaining strength. Nice. And again, that was obvious. Consolidation, impulse move down, consolidation. One should expect it. It was going to go lower <clears throat> the euro and gaining strength for the Canadian dollar. Euro Swiss, Swiss franc. Again, Swiss franc, one of the safe haven currencies. So look, new low for the year. <clears throat> That's a new low euro against the Swiss franc. All this trend down is giving favor to the Swiss franc safe haven currency. Flight to safety. And the euro Australian dollar. Massive consolidation here. There's a low for the year. Didn't take it out yet. That's nice. Probability is going to have an impulse move down, continue going lower. We'll look at the second largest currency in the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. We already did the first two. So now let's look at the yen pound. Again, yen being safe haven currency. Consolidation. One would expect, again, if the yen gets stronger, this would break down going lower, giving strength to the yen. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. <clears throat> Canada, note Canada, Australia, New Zealand, they're big commodity countries. Big percentage of their Nation's value comes from their commodities, be it coal, crude oil, silver, gold. Yeah, the energies and the metals. So Canadian dollar is doing very well because commodities are expensive right now. So this is pushing higher in favor of Canadian dollar against, Swiss, against the Japanese yen. Wow. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, two safe haven currencies. <clears throat> Look, it's trending up in favor of the Swiss franc. So the Swiss franc is in more demand than Japanese yen. Almost near that swing high. And Australia dollar against Japanese yen. Massive consolidation. A lot of rejection at that 95. That was a high of the year. And these highs here couldn't take it out. So still it looks like, again, potential rollover. Yep. Let's go to the third weighted currency, the pound in the U.S. The pound. Pound Canadian dollar. Oof. Yep, look at that. New low for the year. So Canada dollar stronger in favor. And look at this. Canadian consolidation, breakdown, consolidation, consolidation, breakdown. All this time. The writing was on the wall that the pound was losing and the Canadian dollar was getting strange. So new low for the year in favor of the Canadian dollar. British pound. Swiss franc, also new low for the year in favor of the Swiss franc. Yeah, the euro and the pound are getting slaughtered. And the British pound, Australian dollar. Well, it's not the new low for the year. It's inside candle, but again, probably it's going to take out. It's right off the bat. <clears throat> U.S. dollar we see is strong like bull. Strong like bull. Let's go put this a little bit intraday time frame. So you can see a little bit more. We'll do it on the 15 minute time frame. Look at the major currencies. Here's the 15 minute time frame. Major currencies in the futures market. Yep, again, euro pound, the weaker of the bunch. US dollar, the stronger of the bunch. Canada, stronger. Same with Swiss franc. Many thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.